hello guys welcome to another video today i will be showing you how you can see someone's instagram stats using python for this we will be using beautiful soup library and bs4 module now instagram which is the world's biggest online photo sharing app it uses python on its backend according to instagram's engineering team instagram currently features the world's largest deployment of the django web framework which is written entirely in python so, using this library and sending the request to the Instagram through its URL, we can view any accounts, followers, following, post, and many more things. You can even use Python to make an Instagram bot. You can see who unfollows you later after following. You can increase your followers also. And you can even download someone's post. So, for today, we'll just see how to check someone's followers, followings, and posts. So let's start. But first, please go and subscribe to my channel to get updates of my latest videos. So now let's start. So just open new file. And change the plain text to Python. And save this. Okay. Okay, so let's start. So first we have to import beautiful soup from BS4. So from BS4 import beautiful soup. Yeah. Now this beautiful soup it is a python package for parsing html and xml documents it creates a parse tree for parsed pages that can be used to extract data from html which is useful for web scrapping and it is available in both python 2 and python 3 so after importing you also have to import request because you will be sending request to the instagram url now you have to write the url so url equal to in double quotes https then www dot instagram dot com and then this so this is the url now we have to define two functions one will be for the past data and the second one will be for the scraped data so first we will define a parse so the function name can be getting parse data and you have to give a parameter i'm giving i Then inside this function, you have to choose a variable data, which will be equal to this. Then i equal to i dot split, and then inside this underscore, and then zero. After that, i equal to i dot split and then double quotes and then space. So this will uh, split the entire data which is given in this URL into parts. It will see where there is underscore, then it will split the data, it will see where is the space. So according to these two, it will split the data into many parts. Now, 
we have to get the data for followers. So let us just write followers equal to i and then inside it's zero. Then data for um okay let's just about followers i and one then data following sorry, equal to i and then two then data following equal to i and then inside the three and then data post equal to i four and the last one is data post equal to i five and then you have to return data so this was the first function now you have to make a function for getting the scrape data. So again write def and getting scrape data and inside its parameter we'll be using username. Then Inside this, R will be for the request. So request dot get, and then inside it, URL dot format, and then inside it, username. So it will send a request for the username you enter. Then I equal to beautiful soap, sorry, beautiful soup, R dot text, comma, HTML dot parser. Then we are using here the meta tag and meta equal to i dot find then inside it meta comma property will be og description then return getting parse data and then inside it meta dot attributes and then content now this meta tag is used to find stuff. This also grabs the article ID from the ID tag hidden in the source. It means that it is used to pull the metadata out of the web document and it requires beautiful soap for this. And the OG here means open graph. So this is a function. Then after this, 
you have to compare the name to main and if it's true sorry here will be double equal to sign for comparing so if it's true then username equal to you can provide it you can provide any username like I'm providing mine then data equal to getting scrape data and then inside it your username then you have to print so inside this you can write this account has and then comma data of followers and then data again followers this is just the word I just copy the same line and paste it here and again paste it here so instead of followers you just write following and here also following and then here I have to write post and here also post. So this is our code. Okay, so let's just run this. So here is the information. This account has its many followers, this much following, and this much posts. You can change the account, or you can change the username. Now let's check it. So this is the information. So this is how you can check someone's followers, their following and their posts. So this is all for today. Thank you and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you.